So this is the Huawei P40 Pro, the mid-variant of its flagship P-series for this year. You find your traditional Huawei branding with a mention of both Leica and Huawei's app gallery on the front of the box, and the phone does not come with Google Play services. There's TUV Ryland certification on the phone as well, and if you look at the bottom of the box, you find coverage for 5G, as well as the 256GB of UFS 3.0 storage, 8GB of RAM, and the phone's matte grey color finish. Now, there's nothing too special about the packaging, and it's very minimalistic in true Huawei fashion and once you open it, you're greeted with the phone itself. You may find the experience to be a bit different as this is pre-release packaging and so this unit is not meant for sale and yours might come with a plastic sleeve protector. We're actually going to put the phone off to the side here and see what else is in it. So there's the sleeve which houses the SIM removal tool and a TPU case, although with the actual retail packaging, you will find some paperwork as well as warranty information here. The case comes in a plastic cover and it will help to protect the device no doubt, but being a premium smartphone, we'd like to see some more effort with cases, maybe with a new design or a new color finish just to change things up. To round up on the unboxing, there's a Type A to Type C USB cable, although it would have been nice to see a Type C to Type C one just for uniformity, as we're starting to see this on more Huawei products, especially their notebook series. You also find some earphones which are Type C USB, as well as a 40 watt supercharging brake, so all the standard affair. Now to the phone, we see it houses a dual front camera setup, and to be honest, the phone feels extremely premium in the hand, solid, and the phone's finish just makes it feel nice to hold. On the right side, you find the power button with an orange splash and the volume keys. The left edge is bare with no buttons whatsoever, whereas the top is where you find the IR blaster, centered as well as the secondary microphone. In comparison, the bottom edge is quite busy with the Type-C USB port, the dual SIM slot with Huawei's nano memory expansion support, as well as the speaker grill. Lastly, the back of the phone is just a sight to behold, and that's where you find the quad camera setup of the device. Once again, there is evidence that this is pre-release hardware, so we'll just remove those stickers for the time being, and go ahead and turn on the device. So we're looking at the Kirin 995G octa-core chip powering the smartphone, and I just cannot get my eyes off the camera and back. It's a 50 megapixel primary camera, 40 megapixel ultra wide lens, 12 megapixel telephoto camera with up to 50 times digital zoom, and 5 times optical zoom, and a 3 3D time of flight sensor. But as the phone starts up, let's get through the setup process. We've got a 6.58 inch Full HD Plus display with up to a 90 hertz refresh rate. You can also see the dual punch design with a 32 megapixel selfie camera that also comes with 3D face recognition and this notice for Huawei mobile services. And the rest of the setup process is fairly standard. But there it is, the P40 Pro from Huawei. So far, the app gallery seems to have a lot of local applications baked in and some international ones too, with the latest being Snapchat. We've also tried to get Google Play services up and running on the smartphone using our previous tutorials, although this is the roadblock we've hit, which we'll hopefully see a way to bypass in the near future. We'll have more videos coming up on the smartphone and do let us know what you'd like to see with it in the comments down below. Subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks for watching. This was Vabov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.